Hello, I'm Angel and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about how to combat under eye shadows. Now, I think it's really important that we differentiate the difference between an under eye circle, discoloration, things like that, and under eye shadow. Because they're two very different things and you combat them in different ways. Um, I feel like a lot of the time people usually just think, oh, it's, I have darkness underneath my eyes, I'll just stick an orange or salmon color corrector underneath. And that's not always the case for everybody. I know for me, for a long time, that's what I thought it was. And I would do my makeup and I'm like, why does it still look like I'm dead <laughs> you know what I mean like you you still have that shadow underneath your eye and then I discovered that there's a different technique a different way to combat this thing that I thought it was let's make sure we know the difference between dark circles um, discoloration all that stuff and an actual under eye shadow now discoloration you know it could be hereditary maybe something that just happens as you get older um, it could be you're not drinking enough water it could be a lot of different things so discoloration it's going to be something that for example if you take the light on your phone if you move it across your face that discoloration doesn't move it's going to stay in that same spot it's not going to get darker or lighter it's just something that is just there under eye shadow however if you do that same trick that shadow is going to move and for a long time like i said i thought i had really dark under eye circles so i would go ham in there with under eye you know correctors and i was still not getting the result that i got so now that i've figured out that it's an under eye shadow i'm going to teach you guys how to you know combat that so first things first is i think it's really important to prep the skin i obviously just got out of the shower my hair is like wet <laughs> and um, just make sure that you really you moisturize and make sure you use an eye cream I'm a little bit high maintenance in the sense that I have two different eye creams I use one at night and then I use a different one in the morning the one that I use in the morning is the Clinique pep start eye cream and this is just what it looks like I really like this because it's something that's really easy to do on the go like say for example I'm in a rush I don't have time to put makeup on I can just pop this in my purse if for whatever reason I don't have two seconds to do it at my house it's something to pop in your purse it's something really easy to travel with it's really small it doesn't take up space you have applicators on there so it's kind of no fuss no mess kind of a product but I really like this because you know I think it's really important to hydrate your under eye you obviously don't want wrinkles and things like that underneath that and that's what you're trying to prevent but you would just want to make sure that it's nice and hydrated and it's kind of like a smooth canvas for you to do the thing you need to do with your makeup regardless of where it is I think it's really important to also moisturize your face so I really like that product because it hydrates it brightens a little bit I feel like it has a little bit of a reflect in it it's not anything that's like shiny but it it is really really moisturizing so I feel like the, the light particles obviously bounce off of that and it depuffs your under eye it's obviously not gonna be like a miracle worker in completely depuffing it I think it has a small amount of caffeine and that that's what helps the puffiness um, but I really like it it's really easy it doesn't sting or burn my eyes like I've never had an issue with that so that's just the product that I've been using alright guys so now we're gonna just get into the technique um, I'm gonna be using two different concealers and you can be more strategic with the type of concealer that you use for this technique I, I feel like for the average girl she's not gonna have you know two concealers just specifically for this technique so I'm gonna be testing out or I've been testing out these two concealers and you guys will you know what I'm talking about if you saw my Ulta haul if you haven't seen my Ulta haul I will link it in the bottom bar below but I'm gonna today I'm gonna be using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro concealer and the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define concealer. You can be really strategic in the way that you use this. You can use a little bit more water-based concealers um, if you want it, you know, to be as natural as possible. But you could still do this with a full coverage concealer. Today I'm going to be doing it on a bare face. You can obviously do it full glam. Um, but I really only do this technique if I'm not really going to be wearing makeup or I'm going to be wearing very minimal like it's a concealer and you know mascara kind of a day it's one of those kind of deals so that's how I'm gonna show you my face like everything is nice and prepped I'm actually gonna go in with the bare minerals bare Perot concealer first now this is like kind of a little stick concealer it's supposed to be a full coverage you know waterproof kind of concealer it is a little bit thick but it's very moisturizing so that's why I decided to use 
this one. You can use any concealer that you have. Um, I would though recommend using two. That's really how this is going to work out. I'm using a concealer that is in my skin tone. I think it's really important that you get one that's your skin tone and one that's slightly lighter. Not anything crazy lighter, maybe one or one above. I just play around with your, you know, what you like, but that's what I would recommend. Um, you don't want to go too crazy light with the other concealer. And I'm going to just do half of my face so you guys can see what it looks like at the end results. Um, so let's just do it. So I'm going to just apply a small amount. This is, you know, if you're going to do this on bare skin, definitely, definitely use a light hand. You don't want to go like too crazy heavy handed with it. All that I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I hope you guys can see. Do you guys see? You can see my under eye circle. You, not my under eye circle. You can see my under eye shadow. See, if I look straight on, you can't really see it. But if I go, that's where you see the darkness. And under eye shadow um, will usually be in the hollow, the hollow of your um, your little eye socket, like right at the edge of it, right here. It's usually where it is. Do you see it? It's dark and gross and crazy. It's crazy, right? Like, who would have thought? So, anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm rambling. I know I'm sorry. So, I'm gonna just take the concealer. Um, I'm just gonna apply it. I'm not gonna use a brush or anything. I'm just gonna apply kind of a small amount, kind of just tap it like so. It's not a crazy amount. Um, if you want to go in later with um, a more generous amount, you can. But I'm just gonna blend this out with a sponge. This is my Morphe. I think this is the highlight and contour sponge. It's just my favorite. Okay, so you can see that brightened it up a tiny bit. I'm gonna just add a little tiny bit more in the inner corner. Um, just a little bit closer to my lash line. You can see how much brighter it looks. I'm just gonna make sure that's really blended in. Okay, so you could already see the difference but you could still see that shadow. And the light is washing it out a little bit in person. Like, it covers everything, it's nice. I mean, that's a good concealer if you need to just like, no fuss, no muss, like let's just get out the door. Sometimes you don't get enough sleep at night, you know, whether you work a lot or you're in school, like you don't, like sometimes you only get two hours of sleep. Let's just be real, and you run off of caffeine. So like these are, this trick is, that's what this trick is really good for. I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Concealer. Um, this is in the color C1. It's lighter, obviously. And I'm actually not going to take it on the doe foot applicator. I, this part of the technique, you just need to have to make sure that you are pretty precise about it because otherwise it's just not going to work out. It's not hard. Don't worry about it. But I'm going to just take a very small concealer brush. This is a Morphe M170-2. It is just a tiny, tiny brush. You see it? Teeny tiny. I love, I love this brush. I literally use it for anything. And I'm just taking the literally the tiniest, tiniest amount. I might just wipe a little bit off on my hand too. So I'm taking the tiniest amount, and all I want to do, maybe I should zoom. In. Oh, let me zoom you guys in closer. So all you want to do is, I think I'm gonna look in the monitor to make sure that I'm in focus. So please don't mind. But basically all I'm gonna do with this concealer is I'm gonna just go right here, right where that darkness is where you see it. That's where I want to cover. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna basically kinda just draw a little line. Um, and you wanna make sure that you don't go above it. Um, basically we are, you know, doing an illusion. <laughs> I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And like I said, you want to just make sure that you definitely go slow on this part too if you are first trying it out. But now that we have that line there, it looks kind of crazy. You can blend it out with the brush if you want, but I'm going to just take that sponge and blend it out downwards. Make sure that you don't bring that color up because then that's just going to, it's going to do the opposite of what you want it to do. You know what I mean? So you want to just make sure you keep it low. you see a difference already? Do you see when I do that? It's not as noticeable. Like it's still there, like you're obviously not gonna completely get rid of it, but it makes such a big difference. Isn't that nuts? Ugh, 
like when I do this trick it like blows my mind because I'm like wow like my eye looks so much more awake and it's just it takes two seconds it's such a quick technique it's not anything too crazy it's not anything too advanced so that's what I really like about this so I'm gonna zoom you guys out so you're not so close in my face it's like really crazy but look it's not as crazy darkness underneath there right so that is half of my face done. Look at the difference, like, oh my god. And look, even when I do, there's like slight darkness, but it's definitely not as bad. I love teaching people this technique because one, it is incredibly simple. It's such a simple solution to an everyday problem. And two, like, I just, I don't know. It makes me feel good when other people feel good. So if you like it and you do it and it works for you, definitely let me know because that is just going to make me so happy. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, follow me on Instagram at hello, I'm Angel with three L's. Don't forget about that. Um, and until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.